Pablo has uh, finally arrived and um, you know has uh, has joined our football club. We obviously uh, were in the market for a quality player, and it's uh, you know we've, we've worked really hard that everyone at the football club uh, over the last few months to make sure we got the right person that uh, you know fit not only uh, you know in terms of football sense but as a person as well because um, you know we've got a really we, got a, we think we've got a really exciting young team and, and we need some really you know, good experienced players and quality players and then Pablo fits the bill with that. So, uh, you know, um, as I said, we're really pleased that uh, we could finally get him here and uh, he'll join us down in Tassie for a few days, get to know the players, get to know the team and uh, then uh, hopefully uh, yeah, be ready for round one. But uh, as I said, uh, exciting announcement for our club and uh, you know, reward for a, a lot of hard work that people put in. I wouldn't be embarrassed to bring any footballer through our football club you know I, i'm quite proud that you know i can you know the people at our football club can show pablo around here and and uh you know this would be the equivalent to any european club that they're going to i, I can i can say you know with with a matter of pride that you know he's going to play in front of 50,000 people in his first game i can tell him that he's going to be playing in front of 20 25,000 people every week um you know maybe we we don't we don't across the board pay the wages that are on offer overseas but in terms of where we see ourselves as a football club you know we see ourselves as a serious entity and we see the competition is growing into a serious entity so um, we want to make sure that it, all decisions reflect that we're not going to sell ourselves short or our football club short and most importantly our, our competition short with all decisions we make. Given that he was under contract it was released or yeah. No, there wasn't a transfer fee involved, but obviously there needed to be negotiations because obviously uh, you know, Pablo did have a year on his contract and, uh, you know, um, there's all sorts of discussions that need to go on. It, it wasn't an easy process, you know, it's never an easy process, but like I said, that's, that's where we pitch ourselves as a club. That's, that's the world of football and, and that's where we, we see ourselves, um, you know, we were really, it was really important with our recruiting this year that we only wanted to bring quality players in and, and you know, the players we've brought in so far have all you know, played for their country and, and I think will add something real special to our club. I'm very happy for come here for this great uh, opportunity for the club, for the, all the people here in the Melbourne victory for this uh, opportunity, I say. I hope the best. I, I hope uh, he the the team. And uh, when finish the season, uh, I hope to speak uh, better and uh, I hope uh, win the, the championship. Hello. Had you seen any A-League football? Uh, did you know <coughs> anything about the games here? Or was it all because of Ange being able to persuade you? Yeah, yes, I, I know something uh, here. It's uh, a more popular team from uh, Australia. And uh, so uh, I say one time more, thank you very much for, for this great uh, opportunity. I hope the best for the team. To Ange, James Troisi, that's been confirmed. Yeah, yeah, no, we've, uh, yeah, we signed. Uh, James on a on a one year loan deal, and again, uh, pretty pleased with that. Uh, again, uh, you know, had uh, our CEO and footy manager working late into the night to get that done. Um, so James will arrive um, Thursday morning and, and join us on a one year deal. And, and again, pleased because we're getting another quality player into our team, another guy who's represented his country, and uh, uh, he's super excited uh, about uh, joining our club and, and and playing in the A League. And uh, you know, I think he's. Uh, yeah, it will be a fantastic addition to us. How ready to go is he? Is he ready to go two and a half weeks? Could he play right? Yeah, no, no reason why. Shouldn't. Again, he's done a full pre-season. Uh, he's been training with uh, Atalanta and uh, obviously needs some game time. But he arrives, uh, you know, he'll join us in Tassie. And like I said, with Pablo, we've got a couple of weeks to get him right. Um, yeah, these, these guys are professional players. And uh, as I said, I know it's unusual because we've got such a long pre-season that it seems like we're doing it late in the piece. But I think... Uh, you know, if you're if you're in Europe, uh, it's pretty much the norm that players join in, particularly quality players that can join in pretty late and, and contribute uh, straight from the round one. Just a quick word also on the national team selection today. Milligan in the squad, so you'll lose him, but not Archie Thompson. Is 
were you expecting that or were you surprised? No, no, I, I expected both of them to be in it. So, um, you know, a uh, little bit of surprise Archie's in there. Obviously, we, we expect Mark to be there. And to be honest, we were planning uh, round one without uh, both of them. So, massive boost to, to have Archie available. Um, you know, I'm not sure the reasons why he's been left out. But, um, you know, I guess uh, it's a big season for us. Bangs in some goals. Um, you know, we. we We'll get back to uh, being in the national team. Um, I'm sure our supporters will be uh, pretty pleased that uh, you know we'll be playing in the derby because he's, he's done pretty well in those games.